Hey, Kevin here, Brick Building Biker. Well, it's been a long since, or been a long time since one of our last short little videos. So tonight on Building with Buds, we are going to be building this bad boy, Fender. The Fender. Um, Tanner and I will be building this thing up, and uh, Eric will be building the uh, Guardian's uh, Guardian shuttle there, which which I absolutely love. Um, the Benatar, that thing is phenomenal. So. We're going to be doing that up tonight. I'm going to try to do a uh, time-lapse video of this bad boy uh, as we build it on up. Um, it's kind of, it was one I wanted right off the top just because it was a little bit different. It's it's a little smaller model and it's neat. So uh, I think I'm going to build mine up in red and uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it after, uh, after we get it all done and do a little quick review on it. I know there's lots of reviews out there on it, but yeah, all is good. Um, so yeah. Uh, well, let's get after it. So we got uh, finished up the fender last night. <clears throat> I didn't shoot this video till the day after I got, uh, it was pretty kind of late there and stuff. So figured what the heck, I'll do it today. And uh, we'll just give it a quick little uh, look-see here. And the fender's not a huge model. The The amplifier is kind of cool. It's got a couple little neat features. Um, the guitar is just kind of cool. It's a nice little showpiece. And I think I'm going to, um, I'll probably post it up on Instagram after I'm done, but I'm going to, I talked about doing it before. I'm going to mix some of the black in with the red just to make it a, I don't know, some kind of custom guitar. I'll see what kind of, kind of design I could come up with or what have you. Um, but yeah, for now, we'll just look at the red guitar and the amp and uh, see kind of what it looks like. All right. So first off, you'll notice I don't have this hooked up to the, uh, to the guitar itself, which is right here. So there they got the little pick on the neck, on the head there, coming down. They got a nice strap on it, it says fender on it. This piece actually goes right into here, and then uh, it plugs into the amp up here. But I'm just not going to display it like that. Even this foot pedal piece, it goes into the back side. I guess you could put it in the front too if you really wanted to, but um, I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to just kind of wrap them up like this and throw them in behind the amplifier. On the top of the amplifier, they give you some uh, some some pick. You can put picks up here, I guess. And just take that gold one off. These are the those are supposed to be the guitar picks, but just laying on top of the amp. Um, this piece has a sticker here. This piece has a sticker here. This piece right here is printed. So why they couldn't do all that printed? Beyond me. The strings. Um, they look pretty cool, and they come up to the. Here's your adjustments for the strings and what have you. Here's the whammy bar. Um, <clears throat> and then it's got this cool little stand. Um, it just sits on nicely. So stand in, it's got little rubber mounts there. This piece, another sticker piece. Um, and then the back of the guitar. It's pretty basic, but like I said, just a nice little, it's something different. Now the cool part is actually this amplifier in my eyes. So the top pops off and it shows you like all the resistors and the boards and all that sort of stuff in there. But wait, we're not done. Turn it around. I'm going to unplug this guy. You can see the, the cords coming for the speaker that's in the back of the amplifier. This just pops off here. And then if you look inside, you see the speaker. It's kind of cool how they did all that stuff. It's a little attention to detail stuff, so... It's kind of cool to look at. This is where the, the foot pedal and that other piece are going to live, though. So, yeah, and then they have a serial number on it there, whatever it is. So, kind of just something neat, like a little out of detail to the inside of the thing that you didn't really expect to be there because realistically, old Lego sets would have been just done like this. It was literally be a box, all these 
all the grill pieces on the front and what have you, and, and that would be the end of it. But no, they did a good job on this, I think, personally. So glad I got this one. It wasn't super, super duper expensive, but um, still a kind of nice little set. So, but yeah. So if you like what you saw in the video, please like, subscribe, all that good jazz. I am trying to get a little bit more content out there. It's been uh, it's been a tough summer, like I said, in the last couple of videos. But slowly but surely, as the winter starts coming or as the snow starts flying, I'm sure I'm going to be uh, uh, getting more videos up there and what have you and uh, doing a little bit more building and changing things up. There's some big changes coming, so uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and uh, always, guys, stay safe.